Hey, what's up? Be Operation iDroid here, and DSoid has been updated yet again. It's been a while since the last update, that's for sure. Almost, no, it's definitely over a month since the last update, and since then, some great things have happened. Like today, I just hit 3,000 subscribers, so thank you to everyone watching this video, everyone that's ever given me a like, a favorite, that's ever commented, that's ever even watched the video. Thank you, and most of all, thank you to my subscribers. You guys are the best. Words cannot explain how much I appreciate you guys. Nevertheless, let's get right into Diasoid 1.9.15, which features slightly faster, so that's a good. Fix some UI bugs. I don't know, I've never experienced those, but I guess that helps all you guys out there that were experiencing some user interface bugs and finally there's a lot of work that's been done in these months that he's been out well not out because he's been working on DSoid but hasn't updated it so let's jump right into the Google Play Store and check out this update so he wrote in the description of DSoid a massive essay well not massive it's like a couple of paragraphs but it explained a lot of what he's been doing with the actual application and it gives us the users a lot of feedback from him on what he's trying to do besides us just saying oh he stopped updating DSoid. Anyways, I'm going to open my DSoid right here. Um, I will have that paragraph he wrote in the description so you guys can read it but basically he was just saying that he's been look as you can see what's new slightly faster and fix some UI bugs I'm gonna go ahead and update DSoid while I talk so basically he's been trying to make DSoid faster I mean that's what we all want that's what we all have been asking for and to do that he's been trying to rewrite the code so if you don't know DSoid is based on the dynamic code of a PC Nintendo DS emulator now, it's pretty difficult to rewrite a code for an Android device. Nevertheless, he did it. Yet, there's some errors in writing the code. Um, because when he wrote the code, in theory, as he said, it should be running much faster. But there are errors in the code which is not allowing him to do that. So he's been fixing a couple of things up, trying to get DSoid faster by fixing the code. But again, it is very difficult to rewrite code. So all we have to do is wait, support him, and hope that he can figure this out. Anyways, DSoid has been improving rapidly with each update, which is great. I've been documenting each and every one of these updates, and they've all been very good, fixing at least one problem with the emulator. I'm going to go ahead and open it because it's done installing. So I'm going to go into my DSoid. I'm going to run my... Pokemon Diamond like I do in all of my DSoid videos and let's jump right into it hopefully we can see some slightly faster frames per second All right, I'm going to jump right into my last save state, which is right here on Route 201. As always, I will be doing a speed test here, but I'm just going to look around. It does seem a bit faster since the last time I used it, but I've been using a Nexus 7 lately, which is 10 times faster than this. But I will be comparing this update 1.9.15 to the last update. 1.9.14 all right so I have DSoid 1.9.15 on the left and 1.9.14 on the right and to my surprise 
DSOID 1.9.14 actually won this speed test as you are seeing on your screen. But I honestly think that's because my Nexus S is slowly dying, so I'm definitely going to need a new device. Nevertheless, I have gotten reports that this DSOID is definitely faster than the last. And if the developer says it's faster, he has been right in the past. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more DSOID updates.